Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World, and we're looking at two fake fraudulently foolishness fuckery going on here <sighs> Portia 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 Williams why are you back in Mexico why are you back in Mexico Turks and Caicos we know you already been there this year because you took your daughter there remember her third birthday party and you and his kids boarded a boat and y'all called yourself living it up for PJ's birthday so again, why are y'all back here? Are you giving us hints that you may get married in Mexico? And why Mexico? It's nothing romantic about Mexico. Simon can't go anywhere else. Is he locked down by the states? The judicial, the judicial system? Why Mexico? Why Mexico when it has so many bad references? References to you putting your baby's dad in jail when you were filming that godforsaken show that you are a part of that no one even mentions around you and you don't even mention it. It's like it never even happened. If I didn't have my memory, I would have thought it wouldn't happen. But I, I, I watched that whole fiasco and did several videos on it when you were throwing plates, knives, forks, spoons and band equipment. And microphone stands and microphone in tow. So, uh, you're saying you're living your best life, but I see you re living, reliving a repeated life. I mean, if you're a billionaire or your husband to be, glorified boyfriend, I like to call him, father time, if y'all are as rich as you say you are, why are y'all visiting the same place over and over again? All right. <coughs> You're supposed to be in your zine, your meditating state pose, you know, trying to take out your sister, Lauren. She's into that holistic healing and meditation. I never know, known you to be a part of that. Only when you were with her. Okay, so what are you trying to tell us? What are we missing? What are we missing in this photo? Are you trying to uh, lead us to believe by dropping little subtle hints? That you may be getting married in Mexico. Hmm. I mean you always said you were going to have a three. Was it three weddings? Mm hmm. I hope it ain't three weddings and a funeral. I'm just saying. I hope it ain't three weddings and a funeral. But you're all in the sun. I don't know who's taking pictures of you all. But that's for all the time you still like you want to face tune him. And it looked like you got a little face tuning going on yourself. Hmm. Don't know what to say, Porsche. I really don't know what to say with your foolishness. You keep coming back and forth with. Back, back and forth. Back, back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Not really understanding the issue. But um, are you giving us sublime, subliminal messages? Portia, are you doing that for us? You want us to know to be a part of your big day? Or not be a part of your big day? I'm confused because in your profile you wrote destination weddings are so romantic. So you're trying to tell us you got married in Mexico? Is that what you're saying? Because that's just what, what's on your profile. And then the people on your profile are saying, Love how happy Simon makes you. You both are so great for each other. You glow every time you're with him. No, you don't glow, Portia. That's uh, face tunes. 
Okay, that's Facetunes, Facetune, Facetunes. You got on both you and Simon. Mm-hmm. That's what you're giving us when we can't even see your face for real or Simon's face. All right. A lot of people saying they need you back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm like, I don't think so. Unless you're going to come with the comeback. Because Kenya's going to talk about your um, relationship with Father Time. And Marlo's going to chime in too. And more than likely, Candy's just going to sit and listen. Mm-hmm. And where is Father Time going with that bottle of wine or alcohol or cognac? I mean, he got to show his cognac to, p to keep up with Dennis and his Nyack. Is that what he's doing? Do he own that bottle or company that makes that particular alcohol beverage? Mm-hmm. Somebody said on your uh, platform, he has your heart and you have his. That's how it's supposed to be. Well, I will say to that commenter, why hasn't he married you right now? People will keep asking when is the wedding, when is the wedding. I'm thinking it's September. Could be wrong, but I'm just throwing a date, I mean a month out there. Because for us, that seasoned people, we don't know why you were waiting to get married in the first place. Are you still trying to get on one of those um, reality shows? Mm. Are you really trying to get on a reality show? Have you looked up Zeus Network? Mm -hmm. Somebody even said Viagra killing that old man. Man, we don't even know if Simon can get it up. Of course, just using him like another accessory. That's what she's doing. Mm-hmm. But, you said you wanted three weddings. So, it would be plausible. Maybe you would get married in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Because Simon always wears his ring. I don't know why. But... It is what it is. But we would like to know. Why do you keep going back to Mexico? Does he have any operations. In the agricultural field down there? That's the reason why he keep partaking. Or he, he can't go out the state. He can only go to certain states. We're nosy as hell. We want to know. We want to know over here. But it would be nice to see his real face instead of those fake teeth that he got. And it's really you don't copy it and paste it again. Because he doesn't look like that Portia. And you know it. I know it. We all know it. I don't know why you can't just like the man for who he is and what he looks like. <clears throat> yep. 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 And we also got to do a video where you were asking people, or you were asking the question, how does it feel to be you? Well, we don't know, Portia. We ain't sat down and got involved with a married man and called yourself waiting until he was engaged. I mean, waiting until he got his divorce. Nope, you were messing around with him allegedly before that time. But he had checked out of the relationship, and I guess... Fallon checked out too. Y'all just weren't legally separated. And recognized by the court system. That you can date other people. Because y'all are definitely going down the road to a divorce. But you just want to be able to live your life. With that other person. Without being talked about real bad. Or seem like you're doing. So I, technically I don't even think you should even have a legally single type thing. It's either you're going to be married or you're going to be divorced. One or the other, one or the other. What? That's just what man makes these ridiculous rules. And people are happy to follow right on into them. Okay? But we know what you did was deceitful, was dishonest, and was not right. I'm not going to say you really took her from him. 
Because a person can't be taken unless they really want to go. So, I don't know why you're settling for a marriage in Mexico. I mean, you could have went to the Bahamas. Could have went to Puerto Rico. Hmm. But you chose Mexico. Hmm. The money is just not that long, is it? The money is not that long. Cause I could have saw you going to Colorado, to the Alps, to the Hamptons. Hell, you could have went down to the Bitmore House, built built more house in North Carolina. But you kind of like being over there in Mexico. How does Mexico weddings fare out? Are they truthful weddings? Let us just know. Because I don't understand why you haven't gotten married here in Atlanta. Well, we have tons, tons of attorneys, tons of uh, judges, courthouses. Mm-hmm. Plenty of officiants that can official recognize your uh, wedding and file in the court system here in Georgia. I mean, y'all have a beautiful home. Well, I shouldn't say you. I should say Simon has a beautiful home. Because I allegedly don't think your name is still on that deed to that house but that would have been a nice place to have your wedding with family around but you're trying to show the world that you are more than what they think you are you're trying to keep up with the joneses instead of being the joneses hmm very much so disappointed and then you have somebody on your comment section saying, Portia, you don't need all this face app and Facetune. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, Portia, you think you're fooling people, but you're really not, baby. You're really not. And I don't know why we should care. It's your business, not ours. But we just know this hell. And we need questions to be answered, especially when you post everything on your social media account. What you want to post in instead of what you need to really be posting. And my idea is why do you why are you rushing into a marriage anyway? You just met the man. Y'all are what one year three months in. And Lord knows he's seasoned. He retired. He ain't gonna have no job. Mm hmm. He's an accountant, right? Well, he went to school for being. In, don't know if he's still processing it because right now, from what I'm told, he is using his house as a space for other people that he know to leave their cars in the city or in the state while they go back home to another country and is he privy to drive any of those cars while the owners are away because i still haven't seen portia in that mercedes she's still taking pictures in other cars he have and i'm like are they his or are they the ones that left their cars the the owners are not Simon's. what I'm trying to say. There's somebody else. So maybe he is given privilege to drive not so many miles, but a certain mileage. Then he has to put the car down. Because it's not his car. It's, those are not his cars that he is housing for other rich people that make it do what it do. Because Simon is retired. Believe it or not, I believe he is retired. And that is his only income. He might be... Here and there with the ooh wee, you know, don't really know, just allegedly. But okay, if you want to be in your zen moment, zen moment, like your sister Lauren is, all that holistic stuff going on, peace and meditation, you go ahead, do that, girl. Do that, make yourself happy. But if I were you, I would play it safe. I would go get my own money again, get you some jobs, Portia. They don't have to be jobs. You have to go into the office. You could have jobs where you're uh, at home taping. You know all about that. You were on Dish Nation. Mm-hmm. Now I see Sherry Shepard on Dish Nation. See, I really forgot about you, hon. And the brat's still over there. The head crack. Yep. But we're trying to figure out what you're doing. Are you still selling those sheets in your book? Or are you done... Got yourself another revenue stream. I mean, you have Amazon Live. But it seems like all the housewives have Amazon Live. Mm-hmm. 
But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more. You know I'm gonna have more because she's cutting up again and we need to chastise. Alright? Alright. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.